So Avengers Endgame is finally here. And I think it's safe to say that this is the most anticipated movie of 2019 for most people, myself included. I was so excited to watch this movie and after watching it, I can honestly say Marvel never disappoints. This movie was fucking insane. I loved it. Endgame is the follow-up movie to Avengers Infinity War and is the next movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and stars basically all of the most important Marvel characters from the last 11 years. That's a lot of people. During the events of Infinity War, we learned that Thanos snapped his fingers to wipe out half of the universe and that ended in a major cliffhanger. And this movie finishes up this story where the Avengers try to stop Thanos and try to bring back the people who disappeared. I think that's the most I will spoil about this film. This review will be spoiler free, even though I really feel like talking about what happened in this movie. Uh, I'll leave it for another video probably. It's always different to review these type of movies because you always feel like you need to talk about what happens after. It's hard to talk too much about the movie to a point where it becomes kind of a spoiler. And on the other hand, it's really hard not to talk too much about the movie to a point where it just becomes too vague. Like, oh yep, this is a really good movie. That set piece was really good. It was overall really good. Things happened, this thing happened and another thing happened. <laughs> nope, I'm not going to do that. Even though this is a spoiler free video, there's still so much that I want to talk about. Endgame definitely didn't go the way that I thought it would go at all. Certain things happened to characters that I didn't even think would happen to them. Which is great because that adds to the level of enjoyment and excitement when you don't know what's going to happen. This is mostly due to the very vague trailer. Obviously, most people, almost everybody knows what's going to happen. You know, the Avengers who try to stop Thanos and attempt to bring everyone back. That's all you need to know. You don't know how it's going to happen. You don't know how they are going to execute it. And I think that's what movies nowadays need. Trailers that are vague. Trailers that don't give away too much information. So when you actually see it, you don't expect it because you didn't see it in the trailers. They had to implement a lot of things into this movie. They had to do a lot of setting up the film, which was actually pretty enjoyable to watch. And there were a lot of set pieces, which was also really fun. Ultimately, this all made the runtime a whopping three hours long, which might annoy some people, but for some people that I do know, they said that it was good, you know, it was worth the money to go see it, three hours, you know, that's a really long time, a lot of content to watch. For me personally, I was, I was just worried that I wouldn't be able to last, that I'd need to go to the toilet midway through. And I was also wondering how would they keep that level of, like how would they keep us entertained for all of the three hours. But they did it. I was fully engaged with this movie the whole way through. And best of all, I didn't even need to go to the toilet, which was crazy, thinking that I just sit through three hours. Normally, like a normal movie would go around two hours ish, and after the movie finished, I would need to go to the toilet, you know? And it's crazy. You know, I didn't want to go to the toilet midway through because I did not want to miss anything about this movie. Even two minutes, I didn't want to miss anything. Things were happening left, right, and center. And even if things weren't really happening, there was some really important storytelling. After Infinity War, I was wondering how they would top that movie. You know, with every amazing movie, there's always a certain level that you need to hit for the next movie. People expect the next movie to be good. The next movie needs to e be equal of or top that of the previous movie. Coming into this movie, I was wondering how they would do that, you know, with so many lead characters missing. Most of the Guardians of the Galaxies, Doctor Strange, Spider-Man, Black Panther, and many more. 
And Peter Quill, played by Chris Pratt, who played the part in most of the comedy in Infinity War. But you know what? I think they did it. I don't think this movie is as good as Infinity War, but it is still really amazing. And it was surprisingly funny. Normally in a Marvel movie, they throw in a few laughs here and there. But in this movie, it was like packed full of comedy. It was just so hilarious. They know how to be funny to lighten the mood, but they also know how to be solemn and sad. I have to admit, I did tear up a bit in this movie, but not in Infinity War, which is kind of weird. This movie was more emotionally impactful, whereas Infinity War for me was more shocking. When most of the characters disappeared to dust, I, that was shocking. That surprised me a lot. You know, I couldn't actually tear up because I was so shocked. Even when Peter Parker, who was like a son to Tony, he disappeared, you know, and yeah, that was really shocking. I, I still couldn't tear up at that moment though, even if Spider-Man was my favorite Marvel character and still is. I like how this movie references past movies in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm not going to spoil how they did that, but you will know once you see it. But I just think that because of that, this movie does justice to the 10 or 11 years of Marvel filmmaking and successfully ends this phase beautifully. This film feels much different than your average superhero film. Normally there would be a lot of set pieces, a lot of fighting and action sequences, but in this one, not so much. While there were some, there really wasn't that many. Most of the time it's just talking, focused on the story, and I actually quite enjoyed it. The first act was very slow paced, it did a lot of setting up, but it was still very enjoyable. There's not a lot of senseless punching and fighting, like many people often complain in superhero films. This film actually makes you care for the characters and feel what they are going through. Everyone is suffering, there's pain and there's suffering for every one of the characters and there's some great character growth, character development because of that. There's always a lot of hype surrounding these films. The theater was full for all of the sessions today <laughs> on its first day of the release, even though it's a work day and a school day. And you normally don't see that. I mean, if I was to watch any other movie on a weekday, a random weekday like today, that's not a public holiday or any holiday, then there wouldn't be that many people. There'd be like five or seven people. So it's crazy how much hype surrounds these films. And when one film like this the Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. It seems like those two films in particular, just because it's the culmination of all the superheroes together to form an alliance. And it's the big, the big, you know, the big movie. I generally go to see these on the first day of release and book way ahead of time when the tickets drop on that day on the, in the first few minutes. Mostly because I know that there will be some major spoilers the day after. It might happen for this movie, still too early to say, better not risk it, but I still remember what happened for Infinity War. <laughs> you know, it got spoiled the day after and people were complaining and people were angry and it was not pretty. I was just glad that I was one of the first people to watch it. Not only this, but obviously I want to see this movie, the most anticipated movie of 2019 for me, first. Of course I don't want to wait, not even for an extra day. I think that's the main reason why the Russo brothers sent out a message on social media talking about not to spoil the end game, and I totally understand that. I mean, if I got spoiled, for this movie, I would be extremely angry, extremely pissed. To be honest, I was half expecting someone at the theater to shout out a spoiler. I don't know why that just ran through my head. Just because I was remembering back to what happened during Infinity War. But no, that didn't happen. Everyone in the theater was very respectful and it was great to see. 
No loud talking, no phones out, just the occasional oohs and ahs, and some rustling of popcorn or snacks, and some laughter here and there. It was great to be a part of. When you like a film a lot, and it keeps you entertained the whole way through, you tend to overlook the nitpicks that you may have on a film. And I had a lot of nitpicks about this film. You know, some things that I thought they could have done differently or better, but isn't a major thing that I would say is a bad element to the film. But after the movie ended, I was like, whatever, this movie is awesome. <laughs> I couldn't care less. In terms of ranking, this movie is probably the best movie I've seen this year so far. And I think probably will be the best movie I'll see this year. But in terms of Marvel standards, I would probably rate this movie to be my fourth or fifth favorite Marvel film of all time. First one being Captain America Winter Soldier, second one being Civil War, third one being Infinity War, and the next one maybe this one? I'm still not sure but I still think Infinity War is slightly better than this one. Mainly because I really liked how they celebrated the antagonist so well in that film and also how it ended in an epic cliffhanger. The bad guy won in the end. You don't typically see that in a movie, especially a superhero one. There was a lot talked about and discussed about that movie, even weeks after it got released. And it was great to be a part of that experience and all the theories that surrounded it. Whereas in this movie, you expect an ending. You expect an outcome. You expect an epic final act. And for this movie, I feel like most people came to see it just for the final act. And my god, was it beautiful. I'm going to rate Avengers Endgame an A+. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have seen this movie, please leave a comment about your thoughts below. Like the video if you liked it, and drop a sub to help out the channel. Also, feel free to check out any of my previous videos. Until next time.